return to vehicle assembly. Oh. How's it going, everybody? My name is Dana from Hazardous Entertainment, and welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program. Uh, last time we launched the Olympus 2 here, which evidently this piece right here was causing some issues. I see that now. Olympus 2. Olympus. Olympus 3. <laughs> Green, meaner, greener, much leaner now. All right, let's go launch this thing. Is Jeb still with us? I didn't notice who was with us. Is it Jeb? Valentina. Jeb is gone. Jeb died in the last episode because we tried so hard to save the day. Okay, we're just going to launch this thing. Oh, shit. Oh, oh we're, we saved it. We've saved it. So so the, the capsule has definitely put us off kilter. But you know what? Is it good? I hope to God that's good. So I can affect... It's, I mean, we're off on a bad trajectory right now. This We're not making it too far off, but we're not going to hit the ground. Valentina, you will survive. Okay, we're just going to launch the parachute because it's time. It's a good time to launch the parachute. Is that good? This thing screwed us up. What is that thing? I don't even know. Mysterious goo. Observe mysterious goo. Huh? Transmit data. Transmit data. No, no usable in-range comms. Okay, so what was the mysterious goo about? Keep experiment. What? What did I just keep? Valentina will survive. And you will be experienced as well. Oh, ma'am. Olympus debris. Whoa. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the pieces of the fuel pod or, or something. Or maybe that's the pieces of the... We're 17 kilometers away. We survived! You okay, Valentina? Valentina, you all right? Do I need to contact someone? Valentina, help view valentina whoa valentina i can view your thing hey there you are okay uh don't view valentina anymore do i return space center valentina olympus debris recover olympus i can't fly it anymore recover it oh i got point four point two science from mysterious goo while flying in curb and next funds oh repetition minus nine why but why valentina did a good job Okay, we did basic flight. Now we can do intermediate construction. Okay, we're gonna learn how to make a bigger rocket. Hi, hey, welcome back, Venmer. How are you doing? Oh, oh, it's Werner. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, back to business. Here we go. Click the open button to the top right corner and load the hopper. Remove its RT5 flea and get the, oh, the Olympus, the Olympus. And I need to grab the RT flot flea, right? Is that what you said? What, who, 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 huh? Load the hopper. Oh, load the hopper. Open. Load the hopper. What do you mean, load the hopper? The Millennium Falcon! Ah! Ah! Basic construction tutorial. There's no hopper. What do you mean, there's no hopper? Where's the hopper? This guy? Introduce the 1.12. Can I see its location? You can work around this by ignoring the step and opening the craft and manually placing the parachute on top of what? Okay, the community's looking like there's a bug. And they, they've stopped supporting this game, so that's a bug that I guess is just gonna be in there forever. Do I just gotta... Alright, we'll go for... Suboptimal flight. Why not? Is this the hopper? Is this what I made in the last one? Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll pretend we made it. I kind of get the concept. Wings, flight, flap. I'll figure it out. Unlike the hopper in our first lesson. Oh, wait. The Olympus is the hopper? This is the hopper. This is the hopper? Get rid of this thing? Oh, get rid of the fleet. Ah, I did it! Oh my god. Well, that's not fair. I called it the Olympus. Okay, unlike last time, I won't be bringing in a whole new vessel. 100 meters is last time. Minimum pressure slider all the way to 0.75. All the oh, all the way. Max it out. Okay, get out. Stop doing that. All right, first of all, let's change the name of the craft. Okay. Olympus. But, oh no, it's just Olympus. Well, let's just keep going with Olympus, all right? Until we, until we engage. And this one is somewhere over... The rainbow. Yep, that's what it's called. 
Goo! Oh, we're gonna learn about goo! Okay. When you use this part, you'll see that it's designed to attach the sides and other parts, i.e. radially. If we attach only one of the sides... No, I found out what happened if you attach it to one side. We can solve this by adding extra goo canisters on the opposite side of the rocket so they balance out. Luckily, we have a symmetry tool to help you out here. Oh. Oh. Press the symmetry button. Make it look like that? Wait, how do I make it look like that? Okay, so I set... Okay, so I did it like that, right? Uh... uh. Okay, is that good? Mmm, this game is making me stressed. Decouplers can be used in many ways, but for now, let's just add- How do I get rid of this? Pin it, kill it, destroy it, remo remove it, get it out of here, get it out of here. I don't want it anymore. Go to the coupling tab. Okay, coupling. Grab a decoupler, where do I put it? On the bottom? Oh, oh uh, boy. Once you place the first tank on your rocket, you can duplicate it by what? Fuel tank tab. Fuel tank tab. Fuel tank. Fuel tank. Fuel tank. There we go. So, oh no. This? Is that right? At five. At five? At five. Oh, I see. So, like. I'm, I'm holding the left alt. I'm just going to do it this way. Oh my god. So, like, that's Jesus Christ. Good. Let's switch over to the engines tab now. Engines. I'm, I'm starting to get it. There's no engine in here. Sir? Sir? Swivel engine? Sir, there's no engine. Sir? Sir, I don't have engine. Sir? Engine? Engine? Am I supposed to have engine? Buddy. Buddy, you gotta help me out here. There is no engine. Oh no, I broke that. Oops. Whoa, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not doing that. What am I looking for? LV. Dude, there is no engines. What do you mean, sir? I tried multiple other low part count stock ships. Okay, it seems like there is an actual real bug. So we're just gonna have to leave the scenario. We're just gonna go into the next one. Pretend we added the, the thing to it. Yeah, it's supposed to look like that. Fins, sure. Again, just pretend like we did that and we're gonna be fine. All right, let's get started. Yep, just like that. Okay, throttle, I remember. Activated momentarily. Sass? I didn't the F key. We toggle by pressing the T key. A bit too much engines, so we're going to throttle down for launch. So your throttle's at two thirds. Throttle. Sir? Set your throttle to two-thirds, the upper of the two middle notches. What do you mean? Warp to sunrise. What? What is sunrise? What is this? What did I do? Craft is a little too much engine, so we're going to throttle down for launch. I don't understand. What do you mean, throttle down for launch? Help. Oh my god. Oh, I... Hmm. Um... Left shift. Throttle up. Oh. Oh my god, okay. Two thirds, that's this one. Oh my god. Double check your throttle is set to two thirds, it is. It's SAS is enabled, yep. In space when you're ready to launch. Jebediah's back, oh my god, Jebediah. It's time to make your stay, my friend. Follow the target marker, where? What do you mean the tar, oh, like that? Follow that? Kind of like that? Yeah, I'm following it, oh my god, I got you. I'm keeping it in between the lines. Well, there we go. Oh, I'm getting the real hang of this right here. Oh my god, I'm getting the hang of flying. Go reach space. Go ahead and throttle up. Oh. Jesus. Of course, we'll reach stage burnout indefinitely. Okay, so I should, should do that. Trajectory M. What? Where's me? Is this me? That's me. I'm on Kerbopolis. Is that what you said this place was called? Once you clear the atmosphere, we'll go over what you can do in space. So I'm here. Jebediah is doing a great job. Oh, there's the sun. We are really high up. Are you sure about that arc? Am I supposed to? I probably shouldn't be messing with any of this. That's our projected arc. Probably, yeah, I probably shouldn't be touching anything right now, but Gene is just staring back at me like he's got nowhere to be. Him? Oh wait, I'm supposed to be- am I supposed to still be following the- yeah, I'm supposed to still be following this- this pink thing, I think. Oh, excuse me, got it. Excuse me, excuse me. There we go, that's much better, now we're on our trajected course. 
We can train our Kerbals to be able to do the spacewalk. We can. So we're carrying science devices like our goo containers. We can perform experiments. Feel free to play with the goo canisters now. Okay. Observe the goo. The goo seems to have clunked in the atmosphere. Keep the experiment. What happens if I send one back home? Transmit data. Usable comm devices on the vessel. Oh. Re-enter bottom first. Okay, I'll re-enter bottom first. Is this good? Dear God, is this good? Please let this be good. Oh, and we're in. Okay. Nice job. Oh my God. Let SAS do its job. Okay. Oh. No way. Okay, so we've lost that thing. So it's time to turn the SAS off. Okay. F. You're now re-entering. Okay. Last time we watched the parachute icon to wait for the right time to open the chute. The this time we are going to do something a little bit different. Remember the con oh my god, the construction tutorial where you design the vessel and you set the chute to a semi oh my god, what? This means the chute won't perform the first two of its deployment options until oh god, you can trust me, stage the chute now. Is that good? While we're waiting, I want you to look at the bottom of the capsule heat shield. Not a new one because it is such a gentle flight, but we might need one later. Is that what you're saying to me, friend? Oh my god, I don't. Don't touch the pressure slider, or bad things will happen. Make sure you fully deploy. Altitude is no less than a thousand meters. Oh, we're getting close. Is this bad? This feels bad. Dude, 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 that the parachute's not coming. Dude, dude, the parachute's not coming. Help! Help! Are we gonna die? Are we gonna die? Oh no. Mm, Nelly. Um, Nelly. Nelly. Ah. Oh, what? Was I gonna die if I didn't click on that button or did that happen on its own? I can't tell. Oh, there we are, safe and leisurely. Look at us go. Oh, we're just safe and leisurely. Maybe we didn't have to. Oh, that was our speed. I thought we were getting like too close to the ground. I thought we were like less than a thousand meters down. I guess this is good. Show you a safe and leisurely float. Oh, well, it's time to spin. As you know, we're all about spinning here. Whoa, buddy. Can we look at, um, oh, let's view. Gene, how are you feeling, Gene? Jebediah? No, Gene? Gene's at space mission control. Jebediah? What, what does it mean to you, buddy? Do you like the spinning? Let's spin the other way now. Gene, are you ready? We gotta, we gotta reverse spin before we hit the ground. Or else we're gonna die. Oh, we're getting here. Gene. Welcome back. Congratulations. My next one is about going for orbit. Oh my god. Okay. So we ran into a couple buggies. But that's okay. So I guess we're done with that scenario. End scenario. End scenario. I guess we're done with that. That was... Oh my god. Oof. Alright, I think that's gonna do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll do another episode on this. As always, my name is Daniel, and I'll see you guys next time in space!